The kidneys are vital organs in the human body responsible for several essential functions. Related to filtering and regulating bodily fluids, electrolytes, and waste products. Here's a detailed overview of what the kidneys are and their functions. Humans typically have two bean-shaped kidneys, each about the size of a fist, located on either side of the spine, below the rib cage. The kidneys are part of the urinary system along with the ureters, bladder, and urethra. The primary function of the kidneys is to filter waste products, excess substances, and toxins from the bloodstream to form urine. Blood enters the kidneys through renal arteries, where it is filtered through millions of tiny structures called nephrons. The kidneys play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of fluids and electrolytes, such as sodium, potassium, calcium, and phosphate in the body. They adjust the concentration of these substances in the blood by reabsorbing what is needed and excreting the rest in urine. The kidneys help regulate blood pressure by controlling the volume of blood circulating in the body and by releasing hormones such as renin, which constricts blood vessels and helps maintain blood pressure. The kidneys produce a hormone called erythropoietin, which stimulates the bone marrow to produce red blood cells. This process, known as erythropoiesis, helps maintain adequate oxygen levels in the body. The kidneys regulate the body's acid-base balance by excreting hydrogen ions and reabsorbing bicarbonate ions, helping to maintain the pH of the blood within a narrow range. In addition to filtering metabolic waste products like urea, creatinine, and uric acid, the kidneys also eliminate various drugs, toxins, and foreign substances from the body. The kidneys play a role in the activation of vitamin D, converting it into its active form calcitriol, which is essential for calcium absorption in the intestines and bone health. While the primary role of the kidneys is not glucose regulation, they do contribute to maintaining stable blood glucose levels by reabsorbing glucose as needed and preventing its loss in the urine. Overall, the kidneys are crucial for maintaining homeostasis within the body, regulating fluid balance, electrolyte levels, blood pressure, and other essential functions necessary for overall health and well-being. Dysfunction or damage to the kidneys can lead to various health problems and potentially life-threatening complications. It's possible to detect early symptoms of kidney damage through various means, including regular health checkups, monitoring for specific signs, and diagnostic tests. Here are some ways to detect early symptoms of kidney damage. Regular health checkups. Routine medical checkups with your healthcare provider can help identify early signs of kidney damage. During these visits, your doctor may perform physical examinations, review your medical history, and assess your risk factors for kidney disease. Blood pressure monitoring. High blood pressure is a risk factor for kidney damage. Monitoring your blood pressure regularly and seeking medical attention if it's consistently high can help detect and manage potential kidney issues early. Urine tests. Urinalysis can detect abnormalities in the urine that may indicate kidney damage. This includes testing for the presence of blood, protein, or other substances that shouldn't be present in healthy urine. Blood tests. Blood tests, such as serum creatinine and blood urea nitrogen bun tests, can assess kidney function by measuring the levels of waste products in the blood. Elevated levels of these substances may indicate impaired kidney function. Imaging tests. Imaging tests like ultrasound, CT scans, or MRI scans can provide detailed images of the kidneys and urinary tract allowing healthcare providers to identify structural abnormalities or obstructions that may be causing kidney damage. Glomerular filtration rate Gaffar calculation. Gaffar is a measure of kidney function that estimates how well the kidneys are filtering waste from the blood. It can be calculated based on blood creatinine levels, age, sex, and other factors. A decreased Gaffar may indicate kidney damage. Screening for diabetes and hypertension. Since diabetes and hypertension are leading causes of kidney damage, 
Screening for these conditions and managing them effectively can help prevent kidney complications. Monitoring symptoms. Being aware of and monitoring for symptoms such as changes in urination patterns. Swelling, fatigue, nausea, and unexplained weight loss can help detect kidney issues early. Early detection of kidney damage allows for timely intervention and management, which can slow the progression of kidney disease and reduce the risk of complications. If you have risk factors for kidney disease or experience any concerning symptoms, it's essential to consult with your healthcare provider for appropriate evaluation and guidance. Kidney damage can occur due to a variety of factors, both internal and external. Here are some common reasons why kidneys can become damaged. High blood pressure hypertension. Chronic high blood pressure can damage the small blood vessels in the kidneys over time, reducing their ability to function properly. Diabetes. Diabetes is a leading cause of kidney damage. High levels of glucose in the blood can damage the small blood vessels in the kidneys, leading to diabetic nephropathy. Glomerulonephritis. This is inflammation of the glomeruli, the tiny filters in the kidneys. It can be caused by infections, autoimmune diseases, or other conditions, and if left untreated, it can lead to kidney damage. Urinary tract obstructions. Blockages in the urinary tract, such as kidney stones, tumors, or enlarged prostate glands, can obstruct the flow of urine and cause damage to the kidneys. Infections. Severe or recurrent urinary tract infections can lead to kidney damage, especially if they spread to the kidney's pyelonephritis. Autoimmune diseases. Conditions like lupus and IgA nephropathy involve the immune system attacking the kidneys, leading to inflammation and damage. Polycystic kidney disease. This genetic disorder causes fluid-filled cysts to form in the kidneys, gradually replacing healthy tissue and impairing kidney function. Toxic exposure. Certain medications, toxins, and heavy metals can damage the kidneys if taken in high doses or over a prolonged period. Kidney stones. These hard mineral deposits can form in the kidneys and cause damage. If they become lodged in the urinary tract or cause recurrent infections. Acute kidney injury. Sudden and severe kidney damage can occur due to factors such as severe dehydration, blood loss, infections, or reactions to medications. Chronic kidney disease. Prolonged exposure to any of the above factors, or a combination of them, can lead to chronic kidney disease a progressive condition characterized by gradual loss of kidney function over time. It's essential to address risk factors and seek medical attention promptly. If you suspect kidney damage, to prevent further complications and preserve kidney function, early detection and intervention can significantly improve outcomes for individuals with kidney disease. Signs of kidney damage can vary depending on the severity and underlying cause. But here are common signs and symptoms. Increased frequency of urination could indicate the kidneys are not effectively concentrating urine, possibly due to impaired filtration. Decreased frequency could suggest reduced kidney function or obstruction in the urinary tract. Urgency may result from irritation of the bladder or urethra. Common in conditions like urinary tract infections or kidney stones. Difficulty urinating may arise from urinary tract obstructions, enlarged prostate, or nerve damage affecting bladder control. Blood in urine hematoria. Hematoria can be macroscopic visible to the naked eye or microscopic, only detectable under a microscope. Causes include urinary tract infections, kidney stones, trauma, Kidney inflammation glomerulonephritis or more serious conditions like kidney cancer. Foamy urine may indicate proteinuria where excessive protein leaks into the urine due to damaged kidney filters glomeruli. Conditions such as nephrotic syndrome or diabetic kidney disease often manifest with foamy urine. Swelling edema. Edema occurs due to the retention of salt and water when kidneys fail to remove excess fluids from the body adequately. 
Swelling may be particularly noticeable in dependent areas like the legs, ankles, feet, face, or hands. Kidney damage can lead to anemia due to decreased production of erythropoietin, a hormone involved in red blood cell production, resulting in fatigue and weakness. Fluid buildup in the lungs pulmonary edema due to kidney dysfunction can lead to difficulty breathing or shortness of breath, especially when lying down. Kidneys regulate blood pressure through various mechanisms, including the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system. Damage to the kidneys can disrupt this regulation leading to hypertension. Nausea and vomiting can result from the buildup of waste products. In the blood uremia, electrolyte imbalances or disturbances in fluid balance. Uremic toxins can affect the sense of taste and smell, leading to a decreased appetite or a metallic taste in the mouth. Accumulation of waste products like urea in the bloodstream can cause itching, especially in the skin. Electrolyte imbalances, particularly low levels of calcium or potassium, can lead to muscle cramps and weakness. Difficulty concentrating. Impaired kidney function can result in cognitive dysfunction due to the accumulation of toxins in the bloodstream. Sleep problems. Discomfort from swelling, frequent urination at night nocturia, or itching can contribute to sleep disturbances. Imbalances in minerals and nutrients can affect skin health, leading to dryness and itching. Changes in skin color. Jaundice, characterized by yellowing of the skin and eyes, may occur due to the buildup of waste products normally excreted by the kidneys. Kidney damage can disrupt the balance of calcium and phosphorus, affecting bone health and leading to bone pain. Puffy eyes. Swelling around the eye's periorbital edema is common in kidney disease due to fluid retention. Frequent infections. Reduced immune function and impaired urinary tract function increase the risk of urinary tract infections and other infections. Oliguria or decreased urine output may occur in acute kidney injury or advanced chronic kidney disease. Uremic toxins can alter taste perception resulting in a persistent metallic taste in the mouth, often accompanied by bad breath. These signs and symptoms underscore the multifaceted nature of kidney damage and its systemic effects on the body. Early recognition and intervention are crucial in managing kidney disease and preventing further complications. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Remember to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, take care and see you in the next video.